In physical science, we study the physical world, the natural world, the natural sciences. We look at things that are mathematically predictable in the physical world. We make measurements. We use the measurements to come up with mathematical models. Models that allow us to predict how a system might behave. One of the first things we'll look at is density. If the density of an object is more than one gram per cubic centimeter, it will sink. And if the density is less than one gram per cubic centimeter, it will float. Metal has a density greater than one gram per cubic centimeter. Metal sinks, you know that. Drop a piece of metal in the water, it sinks. But that piece of metal out there weighs many, many, many tons. That piece of metal out there is floating. Floating and moving. We'll also look at motion in this class. We'll be looking at time versus distance, which will tell us velocity. The boat is moving. It's moving slowly because the boat is very massive and it's headed into dock. The boat has to come to a stop. We'll later learn about things like momentum. Momentum is mass times velocity. When you have a lot of mass, you have a lot of momentum, even when your velocity is low, as in the boat. But let's return to density for a moment. If that boat is floating, and it does appear to be staying up on top of the water, then its density must be less than one gram per cubic centimeter. How can that be? It's made of metal. Well, fairly easily. You see, the inside of the boat is full of water. In fact, if the boat gets a hole in it and fills up with water, the boat does sink because its density becomes greater than one gram per cubic centimeter. So the boat is floating because it actually has a density of less than one due to the empty space inside it, despite the load on its decks of all those containers coming in. In physical science, we'll look at the mathematical models that underlie physical systems. But we'll also write up our results as reports, laboratory reports. Science isn't science until it's communicated. Communication is a critical part of science. If you don't communicate what you found, you're not yet doing science. So, there are three parts to this course in essence. One, taking a look at the physical world around us, measuring it, and trying to see how that world behaves. Two, developing the mathematical models that underlay those systems. So that will require graphing and some mathematical analysis. Don't be scared. We'll have tools that will help us do this, help us interpret our data. But there is some math in the course. They'll actually get better at math because of this course. And then the third part of the course is writing things up, lab reports. If you can't write clearly what you found, then no one will understand what you just found. So. Those lab reports will have data and tables and graphs, but I'll also be looking at grammar, vocabulary, organization, and cohesion. How well did you tell the story of that laboratory? Can somebody understand what you found out and use that information to their, study their own systems? So that's a bit of a brief introduction to physical science and the things we'll be doing in physical science. We'll start off looking at density. We'll go on to look at motion and on into things like momentum and look at other areas of physical science as the course progresses. That, of course, is a hybrid course, and that means the labs will be on campus, provided conditions do not change on Pompeii, and all other material will be online. Our first actual meeting in class will be that second week of class on Thursday. That'll be our first lab and our first chance to actually meet in a lab section and perform a laboratory. So. Welcome to Physical Science. Take a look at some of the other materials. Read through the welcome letter. 
There's a pre-assessment that helps me understand your math skills. Take a look at that. Do the pre-assessment. There's an introduce yourself to the class discussion. Introduce yourself to the class. Uh, who are you? Where are you from? What's your major? Share something about yourself. I'm out for a run at present. I look for So the sights and meet new people. So welcome to SC130, Physical Science.